Let us give thanks to the Lord God Almighty for He is good. Hey, everybody. I just want to welcome everybody and say, uh, bless you all and Lord God Almighty. Uh, lift up you all today in prayer in Jesus' name. We give God the glory. We are so blessed to be living in times like this in the last days where we are the last days, tribulation saints, and we give God glory every day. And we pray for him to strengthen, encourage us, and give us uh, wisdom and knowledge and uh, boldness to utter the name of Jesus Christ everywhere we go as we ought to. As Ephesians chapter 6 says, and the word of God, we will read and study the word more. We will draw near to the Father. We will resist the devil and he shall flee from us. We want no part of the evil works of this world. We want only the Father and all his blessings, all his wonderful gifts. And uh, we will strive to um, accept the gifts that the Lord gives us with gracious hearts. And um, glory in our tribulations and um, give God, Father, thanks for all things. So uh, bless you all. I pray for all of you on this channel. I know you're praying for me. I got a praise report. We are God's PR people. Uh, we give prayer requests, and the Lord hears our prayers and answers our prayers, and then we give praise reports. So we're God's PR people, as I call it. Um, my dad uh, had a surgery with a major hip surgery. He was in the hospital for three days. He got out, and he was running a fever yesterday of 101. Uh, they thought I might be getting infected. I put. I put it out on a video. I said, ask, ask for prayer for Joseph Martin Loro Sr. Uh, for you to pray. And um, everyone prayed for my dad and all the family's praying too. Uh, those that know how to pray in Jesus' name and believe in faith, uh, all good works and uh, desires of our heart when we seek the Lord with all our heart. Um, he will answer our prayers, and we believe that he will. Thank you, Father God. So my dad's, the fever went down within a couple hours. It was, <laughs> yeah, miracles every day, yes. And uh, believe in faith. That's what the positive living prayer is, as I call it. Um, so um, yesterday I, uh, did, I was uh, going to this, in my hometown, This yeah, I heard they were having a tea rump rally, so... Um, I decided to go down there and get some signatures on my petition that I'm doing so I could get my get out of California money <laughs> and uh, did really well with that. So, um, but was, uh, almost everybody there knows my dad. My dad's been, he grew up in Hillmar. He was the uh, football star in 1958 and uh, uh, 100 yard dash record holder until like 1985. He was a fast little Portuguese. Um, I didn't inherit his speed. But um, with God's speed, we made up for it <laughs> by the quickening of the Holy Spirit. So, um, and then he was, he's, we had a dairy farm. Everybody knew my dad is a, is a really good, good man. It's always nice when you go into a town and, and uh, your family, your dad is highly respected. People say wonderful things about him. He is very much loved in that town. And he was in the sheriff's posse and he ran the Portuguese festas. Uh, and just a lot of different organizations he's in. So there wasn't a person that I ran into that didn't know my dad. So I didn't really want to troll all the <laughs> Trump tards too hard. <laughs> because uh, I know I have much faith that the two witnesses will be given the last altar call, as I call it. They'll be telling everybody that uh, this is the beast, this is the image of the beast, that's the mark of the beast. So that anyone that takes the mark, it'll be their choice. And... Um, the everlasting gospel will be preached during that time by um, the church, the body of believers, and uh, by the angels that are preaching the everlasting gospel to those that dwell on the earth. And so there is much time, just as in the millennial reign of Christ, uh, with Satan locked up for a thousand years. Uh, some people say that's uh, in the flesh, but I really disagree. Um, so I... Also, in the millennium, uh, there's only one unforgivable sin that hasn't been committed yet. It's for blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, for one of God's elect to be called up in front of the kings of this world and to not allow the Spirit of God to speak through them at that time would be the blasphemy of the Holy Spirit. So, for instance, if you know somebody that committed suicide, we are going to minister them during the thousand-year reign of Christ as the kings and priests in the Spirit, ministering to even some of our lost family uh, 
who weren't with Christ and what of the people who uh, didn't know Christ uh, were born before his time. So uh, we'll be ministering to those people. And uh, that's why I say I believe God gets the two thirds of the souls in the end. Uh, not certain about that. I haven't read it in the Bible, but there's uh, just wanted to read. So I went down there and I was going to read Psalms 20 uh, and tell you the story about my, <laughs> well, I was, and I, I don't know what happened. I just finished my mocha. I got too much caffeine and I just jumped. I saw two people I knew in the 18 wheelers honking their horns. I jumped out. So I'm going to read it right now. The Lord, Psalms 20, the Lord hear thee in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob defend thee. Send thee help from the sanctuary and strengthen thee out of Zion. And Revelation says God of Zion is also in heaven. Remember all thy offerings and accept thy burnt sacrifice. Selah. Grant thee according to thine own heart and fulfill all thy counsel. Excuse me. Psalms. Psalm 20 verse 5. We will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God, we will set up our banners. The Lord fulfill all thy petitions. <laughs> so I was telling how I, I didn't want to do this. I, I was in Kim Trail Hell uh, about 10 years ago in, I think, Santa Clara County, and I was barely making enough just to get in a motel that night. Didn't want to do it anymore, but didn't really have anywhere to go. So I called the name of the Lord that morning, crying out to him. And I opened up the Bible, and that's what I came to, Psalm 20. And I read that, we, and I'm going out to get signatures on petitions because I believe in the First Amendment. And I know they're going to they're gonna take all the amendments away from us soon. We don't get our rights from this government. We get our rights from God, not on any piece of paper. Uh, that's why there's a lady, uh, the healthy American, Peggy Hall. I like her, but I don't think I'm going to need any legal papers. Uh, I'm uploading a video I made yesterday in a supermarket where I was turned away. They refused to serve me. They refused to sell me food. And uh, I mentioned something about uh, if the guy wanted to come to Jesus, are you a Muslim? Probably shouldn't have said that. Like I say, there's many good people of all religions, but I could have said, what are you, an atheist or something? So just a heads up on that. I'm going to upload that in a minute. But um, oh, where was I going? So, uh, so, so the Lord... Uh, well, I read verse 5 that day, and I just broke out crying with joy because the Lord said, told me we will rejoice in thy salvation, and in the name of our God we will set up our banners, and the Lord will fulfill all thy petitions. And I know that means our prayers, and he'll answer and hear our prayers uh, within his will. But for that day, I saw that petitions, and uh, it just released a burden off me, and I went out joyfully. Uh, the Lord has always provided he'll You'll never see one of God's elect uh, uh, begging bread, but we will be giving bread to uh, strangers. Um, so uh, the, it's that day, as, uh, I read that, and uh, he will fulfill all our petitions. Uh, verse 6, now I know that I, the Lord, now know I that the Lord saves his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. And who sits at the right hand of the Father? Jesus, his saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are risen and stand upright, having done all to stand in the name of Jesus. Save, Lord. Let the king hear us when we call. See, the kings are going to hear us when we call out to the Lord God Almighty. Many shall come to the Jesus. Many shall come to Jesus Christ Almighty. So, uh, what else was I going to do? Uh, oh, yeah, I wanted to read uh, this Psalms. Uh, no, Numbers. I want to read something out of Numbers. How uh, contrast uh, this guy, T Rump, right? Everybody out there worshiped in T Rump. I mean, it started with me, and I worked on his campaign in 2015. And uh, the day after he got elected, he went down and plotted the crooked CIA. Not to mention the obvious things of Hillary never going to prison. Nobody's ever going to prison. Nobody got drained. The swamp didn't get drained. The swamp got filled up. It's a cesspool now. It's uh, bigger than the plastic floating in the garbage and all these masks floating around the, uh, down the storm drains, right? All these hazmat masks floating around the storm drains. But, uh, um, so, uh, 
Not once. And, 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 and three days later, he bombed Syria. He's running out there during the campaign, WikiLeaks, WikiLeaks. He's got Julian Assange. I don't know if that's a but it doesn't matter. Um, the vaccine commission, he was going to appoint the bump stocks, the take the guns first, due process later. It never ends with this guy. Oh, he signed the executive order for religious liberty. Oh, we can pray at colleges now. No, you can't. Colleges are all shut down. Get out there and pray your own volition led by the Holy Spirit. Where was he? Did he say anything about religious liberty when the people in Idaho uh, praying at their church service got arrested? And didn't have one case of the fake. They didn't have one case of anybody dying in that county uh, from anything the government spraying in the sky. But he didn't have anything to say about that, did he? So I just want to read Numbers 1647. Um, they were, it, uh, Moses had, and it, it led a, God had led the Israelites out of, out of Egypt, and still they were backbiting, and they were um, greedy, selfish, loving themselves. They wanted some meat. They didn't like that... Uh, honey flavored manna God had given him, but I'll tell you what, we'll take that. We'll take that in the tribulation, huh, Lord? We'll be grateful. So even now, if you got family members that are they're falling away, they're they're not listening to, they're not wanting to wake up, just know that there's hope for them. There's hope for everybody. Um, because we are going to be anointed, called and chosen to lead many of our family. And uh, if they don't make it, at least we have the millennium thousand year reign of Christ to minister to them. So what happened here? Contrast this with Trump. God is um first he's he he, he brings down fire to smite the two hundred and fifty uh men and their uh, 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 fire came down and consumed the two hundred and fifty men that offered incense and uh and then all the people were still backbiting, complaining to Moses. And uh, what happened here? It came to pass, verse 42, when the congregation was gathered against Moses and against Aaron, that they looked toward the tabernacle of the congregation, and behold, the cloud covered it, and the glory of the Lord appeared. And Moses and Aaron came before the tabernacle of the congregation, and the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Get you up from among this congregation, that I may consume them as in a moment. And they fell upon their faces. And Moses said unto Aaron, Take a censer, and put fire therein from off the altar, and put on the incense, and go quickly unto the congregation, and make an atonement for them. For there is wrath gone out from the Lord. The plague is begun. And Aaron took, as Moses commanded, and ran into the midst of the congregation. And behold, the plague was begun among the people. And he put on incense and made an atonement for the people. And he stood between the dead and the living. And the plague was stayed. Now that, that now they that died in the plague were 14,700 beside them that died about the matter of Korah. And Aaron returned unto Moses unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation and the plague was stayed 14,700 died that's more than died from this fake plague right but has Trump ever once said all you Trump people has he ever once stood up and said right now we need to call upon the name of the Lord for healing of this nation right now to reach out to God Almighty Father no all he's doing is going to see the Hasidics the Ashkenazis right for the Noahide laws. Has he ever said once, get on your knees tonight and Jesus Christ will heal this nation during this whole fake plan demonic? Not once. But Ezekiel 13 says, the Lord seeks a man and people to stand in the gap for the people in these last days. And t ain't one to stand in the gap for the people, but yet they all worship him. And I just pray they don't all get led into hell. So Aaron stood between the dead and the living, and the plague was stayed in faith. God was going to smite them all. So that's why no one knows the day and the hour of Christ's return. Because uh, right now, uh, God knew all these uh, American people are going to be worshiping Trump. And um, God knew there'd be many cowards that wouldn't stand up for righteousness in this country. So he knows the exact time that the collapse is going to happen of uh, this nation. And uh, if many people who had stood up, stood in the gap, bind, loose, and attack in Jesus' name, 
uh, God would have stayed his judgment upon this nation. That's why Jesus said no one knows the day or the hour when he was alive walking in the flesh as God. Now he knows. He knows when he's coming to pour out that cup of the wrath of God in the nation. And, um, okay, I don't want to make this video too long, but, uh, one more thing. Oh, and the other day I, uh, did a video about Psalms 37. How, Psalm 37. Everybody says Psalms, did they? It's like Ecclesiastics. Um, and um, Psalm 37, I just wanted to read a little bit out of that because a lot of people say, a lot of religions and um, uh, denominations teach that uh, Jesus is coming to set his kingdom on the earth for a thousand years in Mount Zion in Jerusalem, okay? Um, every Jew must come to Jesus Christ. They are no... They're not chosen any more than you or I, uh, or anyone for that matter, who the Lord will call and choose. Now, he will call many Jews out of the bondage that they're in now, many Muslims out of their bondage. Many of different religions will see that the, the devil lies behind all this false religion. So, just want to read a couple verses of Psalm 37, and then I'll um, cut this video. I'm going to upload that one at the supermarket yesterday. Uh, Fret not because of the evildoers, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Trust in the Lord and do good. We're still hearing the train whistle, so we're all right. Thank you, Jesus. Trust in the Lord and do good. Horn, train horn, train whistle. Uh... Trust in the Lord and do good, so thou shalt dwell in the land, and verily thou shalt be fed. What land is that we're going to dwell in? The Jehovah's Witnesses love to use this verse, uh, verse 9, chapter 37. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thy heart. That's what one John Kerry misquoted. Um, forever your, your heart is, there your treasure will be also. Forever your treasure is, there your heart be. <laughs> Only if it's in God's will, if you're seeking the Lord. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. He will give you the desires of the heart, delight thyself in the Lord. Rest in the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospers in his way. They think they're prospering. <laughs> Gonna be plucked up twice dead. Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Who is that man? Uh, remember, the men are going to be playing their roles on the ground. Some say Trump's the Antichrist. Some say Obama's the Antichrist. These men are going to be playing their roles on the ground. I believe Trump's going to play the Mahdi false prophet who the forerunner was, Muhammad, and to lead and incite many to violence, uh, especially of the Shias uh, for the Muslims. Or he could be the man of sin, the Antichrist himself. I don't know what's going to happen with Trump, but I do believe we're going to see Trump and Obama on the stage together. But basically, they're all playing their roles. And what's really going to happen is all the, when they come from the sky and say the disclosure event is happening, which I guess is Project Bluebeam, that the enlightened ones are here for peace and utopia. That will be the beast antichrist system. Okay, Not one man. Satan himself come from heaven with his fallen angels. The, the devil always wanted to be like God, so God's going to allow the evil to come. That's why he put a spiritual mark on the seed of Cain so the evil will come, as I say, full circle and allow the devil to come play God to test and try those which are alive today. And we shall be made pure, <laughs> tested and tried through the fire. We will not bend, we will not break, we will not bow, we will not burn. Just like Meshach, Sadrach, and Abednego, Daniel and the lion's den, thank you, Father God. He's going to rain down fire and smite these people too. Just watch. Just watch. Have faith. Let your faith grow, saints. So, 37, 9. For evildoers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. What earth? This earth? <clears throat> but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Where is that going to be? Right here. A little that a righteous man hath is better than the riches of many wicked. For the arms of the wicked shall be broken. But the Lord upholdeth the righteous. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright, and their inheritance shall be forever. 
forever is their inheritance. They shall inherit the earth. Their inheritance will be forever. Verse 18, that is the new Jerusalem. They shall not be ashamed in the evil time and in the days of famine. They shall be satisfied. We've got a famine coming. Famine for hearing the words of the Lord. Uh, the, Lord's, the Lord's words are written in our heart and he will he'll instruct us what to say when the time comes. So, Wicked shall perish, and the enemies of the Lord shall be as the fat of the lambs. They shall consume into smoke, shall they consume away. The wicked borrows and pays not again. And they keep wanting that tax money. But the righteous shews mercy and gives. We know our reward is in heaven. For such as he blessed, as be blessed of him, shall inherit the earth. And they that be cursed of him shall be cut off. The Lord will uphold us, folks. The Lord will uphold us. He is merciful. His seed is blessed. Depart from evil and do good and dwell forevermore. Dwell forevermore. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. Like Psalms 91, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And we shall, only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked during our 30 minutes of silence in heaven. <laughs> So, uh, saints of God, um, I'm so blessed to have you watch this channel. You comment, um, you're praying for me, praying for my family. I'm lifting you all in prayer. Why not have the revival start right here with the John Laurel channel, huh? Um, watch the news is fake too. You had a really good video yesterday on the, uh, uh, some drill they had out there in, uh, Vegas. So, um. And uh, all you praying for me, I just thank you. I lift you up in Jesus' name. And uh, just be blessed. Um, I love you all. And uh, this channel has been a blessing for me. Um, so uh, have a good day. Lift your countenance up in Jesus' name. And uh, forge ahead with courage and strength, saints. God bless you.